moment, I am finished. Ah. But did you put in those references? and I'm a PhD student from the Netherlands and today we are talking about reference managers. What is it and why do you need one? There are three main programs that basically everyone is using and those are EndNote, Mendeley and Zotero. I'm reviewing these three reference managers on specific points and I put timestamps on it and you can find it next to here and um, let's just get started. Okay, why do you need a reference manager? Well, you saw the intro clip. If you have written a whole manuscript and you need to put in the references afterwards, it's such a hassle if you have to do it manually. But fortunately, they found something for that and it's just a tool on the internet or a tool on the computer uh, that can help you with this. And it's actually wonderful, but it also tracks your PDFs and your articles that you want to read or that you have read and it organizes everything for you. So you have all your literature in one place, which is basically a very nice thing to have. So if you're working on a project that takes a longer time, for example, a bachelor thesis, master thesis, or even your PhD thesis, or any project afterwards, you can just use a reference manager and everything will be in one place and everything is where you need it to be. There are several different programs that let you put in those references and that you can use it as a citation tool uh, with plugins in Word or plugins in Google Docs or whatever you are using. I'm reviewing three reference managers, EndNote, Mendeley and Zotero on specific points and let's just get started. With the first one, which is money. So the main argument is that EndNote costs money and Mendeley and Zotero are free. But it is a little bit more complicated than that. For example, many institutions have a license to EndNote, so EndNote might be free for you as well, uh, just like Mendeley and Zotero. So let's look at the prices. EndNote costs $302.44. It's a one-time purchase and you get unlimited storage for all your PDFs and references. And they have a student discount, which makes it $140.33 with a one-time purchase as well. So Mendeley and Zotero are free from the beginning, but you can upgrade the storage as you go. So Mendeley has a free storage for two gigabytes. And if you want more, you can purchase more storage, uh, which is a subscription. So you pay the money every year. Uh, and Zotero has the same system, but the free version only has 300 megabytes as free storage for you. So if you want to have the two gigabytes that Mendeley is already offering for free, then you should pay $20 a year for that. Now I put up the prices over here so you can check them out and you can compare them. Uh, and I want to note that EndNote has a one-time purchase and Mendeley and Zotero have a subscription-based business model. So if you have a lot of storage, it might be best to go for EndNote. All right, let's go to the second point. The second point is organization. How do these reference managers actually manage your references? And they basically do it all in the same way. It's just a list of all your papers. And when you click on one, you can see the metadata for that one. That means you can see the year, the authors, the journal it was published in, etc., etc. And you can open the PDF, the full text that is linked to that if you have that. So if you look at EndNote, you can see that there are many references in here and you can just click on them and then you will see all the metadata that is linked to it over here. That's how EndNote looks. And this is dark mode, of course. There's also a light mode, but I like the dark mode. Um, for Mendeley, it looks like this. So basically the same thing. You have a list with the authors and names of the papers, uh, the years and the published in. And if you click one, you can see all the data over here, all the, the metadata you want to know about and you want to see, and you can actually change it if it's necessary. I do have some PDFs in Mendeley because I actually use Mendeley. Mendeley is my preferred uh, reference manager. And you can just click on a PDF if it's here click on it and it will open. That's how Mendeley looks like. 
And last but definitely not least is Zotero. Zotero is also a list with names uh, and authors and you can add the year, I think it's over here. Yes, here is the year. Um, and again, on the right side, you can see what all the uh, metadata is about and you can go to the PDF if there is a PDF linked by just clicking on it uh, like this and it will open in a separate window. So that's how EndNote, Mendeley and Zotero look. With regards to organization, every program has also a folder structure. So on the left you can see the folders that I have created and some basic folders that Zotero has created. And you can see for Mendeley is the same thing. The same goes for EndNote. Um, there are also some groups here over here and you can put the reference in there to categorize them. One thing that EndNote has and Mendeley and Zotero lack is customization for your columns. So you can customize what you want up here and Mendeley and Zotero can do that as well, but you can actually create a column that is a custom column. So if I press over here with my control key on title, for example, you can see here custom one to eight and you can use that. For example, when you're writing a systematic review and you are screening papers, you can put in the name of yourself versus the name of the other uh, screener. And I actually use this for my own systematic review. And I can tell you that's quite useful um, to remember who picked what paper. Okay, let's talk about the next point, which is annotation and note taking. So if we look at EndNote, and I actually found a reference with a PDF on it, um, you can see the PDF on the right, and if you click this button, it will open up, and you can annotate and uh, make notes on this one. As you can see, I already highlighted this. So you just select, let's say we select this one, and we just highlight it like this you can also underline it and you can also make sticky notes so let's say uh, you want to make a sticky note about this piece then you can just press this one and when you double click it says this but you can also this is a sticky notes add that and it's quite useful you can pick all kind of colors uh, you can pick all kind of lines um, if you want to make a line etc so that's how EndNote handles annotations. And if you want to make notes, you can do that um, if you scroll down and you can see that it says notes of research note or a research note. And then yes, you can see I made a note already. This is a note and you can just put it in here and it's very basic. Um, in Mendeley, it's a little bit more advanced than note taking. So if you, you go to a random paper, you can just go to notes and you can add a note. And there's also some text formatting options over here. And if you double click on a paper, you can also highlight, create a note, just like we said before with EndNote. So those options are the same. And in Zotero, it works the same way. But in Zotero, if you open a PDF, it goes to a third party app. So in this case, preview note taking in Zotero is a little bit more advanced. You can actually click on this link, go to notes and you can add a note. And as you can see, the note will appear over here. And if you double click, you can do a lot of word formatting in here. So you can make it bold or you can underline it and all kinds of things. Uh, so this is a note and it will save and it will save to the metadata. The same for EndNote and Mendeley. But the cool thing about Zotero is that you can add several nodes. So this is the second node. And you can see that they will all appear over here, which is very handy if you want to make different points and organization wise, this is a little bit better, I believe, for the organization part. And last but not least, all reference managers have a tag option. So you can just click on tags and you can add tags and as many as you want, which helps for the organization for example, I have a tag called general papers and in those are papers that I basically use for every project such as the DSM, which is the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders. And I use it almost every project because I'm actually in psychiatry. Okay, let's get to the nitty gritty while we are actually using a reference manager, the citation part. We don't want to manually enter 
every citation in a project. No, we just want to use a reference manager that does it for us in the right style. So there are different styles for citations and there are almost 10,000 different styles that you can use for your projects. So Mendeley and Zotero work with the citation style language, the CSL. And this is an open source project that helps to format citations and bibliographies. It has a repository of almost 10,000 citation styles, so the possibilities are endless when you're using CSL, like Mendeley and Zotero. EndNote has its own system for these citations and has almost 6,000 citation styles, which is enough for every project that you need to do. You can also customize styles or add new styles that goes for all three reference managers. You can actually make your own style if you want to, if that's what you're into, which is really cool. In theory, all outputs should be the same. So every reference with the same citation style should look the same if you're using Mendeley, Zotero, EndNote, it doesn't really matter. However, in practice, it does matter. And there are differences in the outputs you get. And that's mostly due to the metadata that was put in. So it's basically garbage in, garbage out. If you are not putting the right metadata in, your reference manager will not be able to generate the right references in your project. Most of the times the reference manager can get the metadata from the PDF, but make sure you check that because it's not always correct or some information is missing. It's very important to have the right metadata there for the accuracy of your references in your project. I've said it before, my preferred reference manager is Mendeley. And the main reason why I love Mendeley is because it has a proper iPad app. So all reference managers are for Windows and for Mac OS, but not all have an iOS app, which I am using. And I have put the devices it's available on over here. And as you can see, EndNote has an iPad app as well. But I tried it and I didn't like it. And I just prefer Mendeley because it fits my workflow. So I read a lot on my iPad and I'm searching for papers on my iPad because I'm just doing that when I'm chilling on the couch and I just want to read something that interests me. And then I find something that I like and I'm like, oh, I need to save this one for when I need it. And Mendeley actually provides me with a tool that I can use to save those references that I find when I'm reading on the couch late at night. So Mendeley fits my workflow perfectly and that's why I use Mendeley. We all want collaborations and we all collaborate with other scientists in other institutions or on different places in the world, which is great. And we want to share references with them if possible. For example, I did that when I started my PhD project. So my collaborator had this whole list of references that she used for the grant application. And she shared it with me through a group in Mendeley so that I could work on the project in the future and use the same references, which is pretty cool and pretty nice. So I used a group on Mendeley and it can sync all the references that are within this group. Both EndNote and Zotero have similar options. If you found a paper in your browser and you want to add it to your reference manager, there are so-called web importers, which are plugins for your Google Chrome, and these let you add the references to the reference man manager you are using. Both Mendeley and Zotero have web importer options. EndNose has a similar thing called connection file, but these connection files let you only connect to one specific library or website, so it's not across all websites you're using. It's not a plugin for Chrome. So now we are talking about plugins. You want plugins for the text formatting program you are using. And all three reference managers work with Microsoft Word. But more and more people are using other text formatting programs these days. One of which is LaTeX, which is mostly used in the beta sciences, such as physics or computer science. And LaTeX has a very good function for formatting formulas, which is great if you're into those beta sciences, but it's not so great for references. So you have to export all your references from your reference manager to BibTag, which is a sort of code for your metadata, and then you have to import those in your LaTeX file again. EndNote, Mendeley, and Zotero all export to BibTag, so you can use it if you're working with LaTeX. Another text formatter that's getting more and more attention under academics is Google Docs. It's very nice when you're doing collaborations or when you're working on a study project together or whatever you're doing together. But unfortunately, EndNote and Mendeley do not support Google Docs at this moment. Zotero, however, has 
a plugin that you can use for Google Docs and that will let you put in the references in the same way as in Word, basically. Which is very, very nice if you are using Google Docs for collaborating. So there are some extra functionalities from these reference managers that I did not cover in this video. For example, one of them is searching for papers through the reference manager. And this does not work for me because many papers are still not openly accessible and if I'm not using the proxy for my university, I will not be able to get the full text for these papers. So my workflow does not include searching for papers through the reference managers, but I want to let you know that that is an option if you can actually get access to the papers through the reference manager. Now you know everything about reference managers, but what reference manager is good for you? Which one does suit what you need and what you want? Well, I made a little list for you so I can help you with that. For the budgeter, I would advise Mendeley. Both Mendeley and Zotero are free, but Mendeley has more storage for the free option. So, budgeter, Mendeley. For the has it all, also Mendeley. I can't stress enough how well the integration with multiple devices is with Mendeley. Are you into open source? Get Zotero, it's the open source reference manager you need. The customizer, get EndNote. EndNote has the most functionalities and is best customizable for your needs. And last, the collaborator, get Zotero. It has a Google Docs plugin, so you can put all the references in your collaborative Google Docs document. So reference managers, I hope I made clear why you need one and I hope you can actually use this information to find the reference manager that suits your needs. Did you like this video or did you find this video valuable to you? Please let me know in the comments or like this video. And if you want to see more content like this video, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any video that I'm posting. I'm here to inform you how to do and feel better as a scientist. You got this.